Now look, this was our first time to Kalahari Resort in Round Rock and oh my gosh, I was shocked at how nice everything was. We will definitely be back and I'm about to share all the reasons why. So we get to Kalahari and y'all, it was hot outside, but we were so excited to see each other because we drove in from San Antonio, from Houston, from Dallas, all of us to meet up. And it was about 12 of us total. Hey mom. Oh, hey, I'm sweating. It's a, it's a camera. Where did you get that from? I ordered it, but it's my vlog camera. What in the tarnation, right? It looks so good. That is so crazy. Right? Cleaner, sweating. Mm. What's up, fellas? You got the long hair. What's going on, man? You good? It's getting hot. It's getting hot. Hey, he took his shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> he literally took his shirt off. <laughs> So first things first, we had to put our bands on. This band gives you access to your suite to pay for things around the resort so you don't have to carry your wallet or anything around. Now look, this was our first time to Kalahari Resort in Round Rock and oh my gosh, I was shocked at how nice everything was. The pictures and the videos online do not do it justice. Okay, Kalahari, hit me up because we will definitely be back and I'm about to share all the reasons why. First, let's get into the decor. The safari African vibe is actually so well done. I was impressed because sometimes it things like resorts can go a little cheesy with the decor, but everything was so elegant and eccentric and really modern yet authentic to the theme that they chose. Now, since there were 12 of us, we wanted to stay together for this family trip. So we booked the presidential suite and it's a three bedroom suite and look how beautiful it is. And it was huge, okay? It had an eight seater table, a full fridge, a sink, a TV over the sink. And let me just go ahead and give y'all a tour from room to room because we gotta get into this. Here is the master suite. It's got a king size bed with lots of space for an extra cot or a pack and play, which is what we got. It was $25 a day, just be prepared for that a beautiful bathroom can we take a moment for this bathroom oh my gosh the tub had jacuzzi jets and it was just beautiful the lighting everything was gorgeous i loved this bathroom so much and i actually loved that the shower and the tub were together this way it was such a smart way to use the space now i'm going to show you the other rooms in the suite the first room has its own bathroom inside the suite and it was still a really nice bathroom even though it was a bit smaller than the master suite bathroom and then it had two queen beds this is where my sister simone and my mom stayed as you can see still lots of window space too so beautiful lighting coming in there and then this is the bathroom that's in the hallway and with 12 people having three full baths was a lifesaver so this is the other room where my other brother stayed with his girlfriend and then we are back to the main living space. Oh my gosh, but of course I gotta take y'all outside to this balcony. Look at these views. You can literally see almost the entire resort just from our balcony. And that was so amazing and just a gorgeous view to have before and after you've been out playing and doing all the things all day. And also the cool thing about this resort is you can actually get a day pass. So if you're in the area, you can just pay to go use all the resort amenities for the day. Or if you're traveling from out of town, the check-in time is at, I think, 4 p.m. But you can arrive at any time in the day and still use all the amenities all day long. Also, the food at this resort is amazing. We'll get into that later. But since it was a lot of us and we were going to be here for a few days, we, of course, stocked this fridge up, okay? My mom was adamant about stocking this fridge up. And we also brought our own air fryer. So you don't have a oven or anything like that. You have a microwave in the room, but the air fryer was definitely clutch. And of course, it wouldn't be a family trip if we didn't have matching t-shirts. Of course, we had to get the t-shirt. It's a little onesie. Hello. 
So now that we're all settled in the room, let's get outside. Let's get into this water park. So, of course, like I said, the facilities are gorgeous, really modern, really, really clean. I never saw trash on the ground. There were tons of staff everywhere, even lifeguards everywhere. So I never felt concerned about the kids not being safe or anything like that. I was really impressed by the safety and the cleanliness of this resort. This is actually one of the kid areas. It has tons of space. Y'all, this is Texas. Okay, we're going to do it big, all right? Oh, and side note, remember that fan nursing cover that I showed y'all in my last vlog? Well, I pulled that thing out this day, and I'm not gonna lie, it was a little hard to finagle because I didn't prepare myself before. Like, I didn't test it like I thought I was going to. So it was kind of difficult the first time to get a hang of this thing. I wish I would have kind of measured it to my liking before and Marie started acting crazy and screaming for some milk, but it's okay. I actually switched things up by day two and stuck this fan inside of my linen baby ring sling that I wear all the time. And that was the game changer, okay? That actually worked so well for me. So if you're not like a ring sling wearing person like I am you guys see me I have Emery on me all the time in almost every vlog in literally every vlog so I wear my ring sling all the time and it was such a game changer when I stuck the fan in the ring sling okay but I will say the cover for the fan works great you just got to do what you're supposed to do like you got to follow instructions. You can't just like go into it, but it is really easy to use once you get a hang of it. I just ended up using it inside of my ring sling most of the trip because I was wearing the ring sling way more than just sitting and nursing because my daughter doesn't sit by herself. She's used to being on me. So yeah, I'm a baby wearing mama. This worked out perfectly for me. I definitely highly recommend if you're gonna be outside in the heat and you're trying to nurse your child through the summer. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away, this is what we waited for.
So if you've also been following the vlogs, you know that the month of July for the Godbolt household is full of birthdays. So we actually celebrated Sarai's fifth birthday while we were at Kalahari Resort. And of course, I couldn't let my girl go down without a birthday little shindig party. So let's go ahead and set up for her while they are out playing in the water. I snuck back in, me and my mom, to set up a little birthday party situation for her. I brought a few things from home. I had Mark, my husband, go get a few things at Target. Also got a cake from HEB. The great thing about this resort there is that there's tons of grocery stores and restaurants and things surrounding the resort. So if you forget anything, child, you could just run 10 minutes, 15 minutes down the road and grab whatever you need. And that's exactly what we did. Isn't this little house thingy so cute? It was like 35 bucks on Amazon. I'll link it down below. Did you see? Look. It's all right. No, look over there. Whoa, What's that? Right. What is that, it's all right? Wait, we gotta fix it. We gotta fix your your, your crown. What is that? Yeah. Look at that, Sarai. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Like, uh, let me see what you got, Sarai. Let me see what you got. Bobby. Look at that, Thank you, Mom. Oh, you're welcome, baby. Let's eat some cake. Let's eat some cake. Yeah. Oh wait, we gotta put our, our hats on. Let's put our hats on. Let's put our hats on. You gotta put your hat on, Micah. Okay. Come on, Micah, MJ, come on. Where's your hat? Here, MJ, come sit. This is your spot. Micah, your hat on. Here, sit, come sit. Sit. Yes, so right, look, look, look at this, look. Do do it. No. <laughs> this part. This part. Bow it, bow it. It's like this. Okay, girl, the cheese. Kai, do you want to go put on some other clothes real fast? Oh, you're broken. Okay, give me real that fast, one. Give me that orange fast. one. What? This is messed up. You oh. can't bite it, boy. You got to blow it. Don't bite it. Whoa. Now bite your clothes. Come on. Let's get I'm your hat. Okay. Me. okay. Here, you can't That's bite it. You gotta go blow hard. Blow, blow hard.
Okay, so can we do, what's the difference between the guac down here and the guac up here? This size, this one's about half. Okay, let's do the uh, order of a house. And then, the order of the regular queso. Do you want the pizza? Uh, on the side, it's good. Yes, baby, put it, put it down, put it down, baby. And then, is the, it'll be too Um, is the, is the street corn, is it cold or hot? It's hot. Oh, it's hot. So, yeah, it has a uh, little bit cheese. Yeah. Um, sprinkles of cilantro and onions and they mix it together. Okay. Oh, got you, got you. Okay. Um, and then I'll also do the order of the queso burrito, beef tacos. Ah, this is the cheese. Sorry, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby. No, no. You want Would you do the... Yeah, a queso, guacamole, yes, and then just traditional is good. Traditional beef No, 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 the burrito taco. Yes. Okay, so y'all, I mentioned that the food was amazing here, right? Do you see these burrito tacos? Okay, they were so dang good. Okay, the little taco place on the outside with the queso and the guacamole and the chips. Oh my God, it was so good. I tore these tacos up. The quesadillas were good. Like everything that we had at this resort was good, but this was definitely my favorite spot. And I found myself going there. Our whole family really went to this spot multiple times while we stayed at the resort. Mommy. Mommy. Yeah. We're gonna go get some ice cream. such a great time bowling and of course playing in the water parks all day and there's tons of stuff to do at this resort there's a spa there's an arcade area huge games and all sorts of things but sometimes you just want to get back to the room and play some cards <laughs> and laugh with your loved ones and just hang out and that's exactly what we did and it was such a great time And just like that, our time has come to a close at Kalahari Resort. And even watching this footage back, I am missing this bathroom so much. 
but you know me I've got to have a little bit of a beauty segment in here so I'm doing my skincare and just doing a little bit of makeup none really just something to make me look like something on this road trip day and of course I got to smell good I've been using this Fleur soft spot perfume lately and it is so bomb smells amazing also I wanted to share the supplements that I take on a regular basis yes I brought these big old bottles with me because if I don't bring the big bottles I will not take them so yes annoyingly they're huge but they help me remember to take my vitamins <laughs> Also, does anyone else brush their teeth after their makeup or is that just me? And then I found my toothbrush looking crazy, y'all. Thank God I looked at it before I used it. I know these kids got into my stuff and this is the proof. So don't judge me, y'all. I had to skip brushing my teeth. At least I had some mouthwash. I mean, golly. Anyway, 10 out of 10, highly recommend visiting Kalahari Resort if you're looking for a fun family friendly trip that still feels like you have moments of being an adult <laughs> while the kids are playing and such yeah this was a great time let me go ahead and help everybody get packed up and let's get on this road see y'all next time <laughs>